and welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be making a very quick, healthy, fruity, and delicious salad. It's absolutely wonderful and the nice thing about it is that you can substitute it with any of the fruits that are in season. So let's get started. I'm going to show you. It's an extremely simple recipe but um, it turns out extremely, extremely tasteful. So what we're going to need here is I have this organic spring mix. Um, you can use anything. This one has um, spinach and different, different types of um, salad in there. But really it's up to you. The only one thing that I don't like in here is lettuce. Um, I've tried this salad with lettuce. It doesn't hold up really well. So that's one thing I would recommend is don't use like a lettuce. But other than that, like um, a really good brand of any organic or even if you don't want to use organic but try and use some different colors and just wanted to show you the colors here look at how beautiful these leaves are they're just really nice and vibrant and you kind of want to get something like this it kind of adds a little bit of color and punch to the salad so we'll keep that aside for now because we're going to make the dressing so for the dressing what we're going to need is we're going to be using some balsamic vinaigrette um, there's also a blueberry balsamic vinaigrette that's available. If you guys want to use that, that's perfectly fine. But if you've never used balsamic vinaigrette, I really recommend you get it because it's an amazing product. I have some very good brand of soy sauce. This is the soy sauce that I use um, and I love this brand. So, um, And then we have some black poppy seeds here. Now this can also be substituted with black sesame seeds if you want. Um, I do either or sometimes. And then I've got a can of mandarin oranges. Now this, um, because we're not gonna make a lot of salad, I'm just gonna make enough for this container here. Now if I was making one, like let's say for the whole thing, I'd probably need maybe a total of three cans of mandarin oranges. And the reason is because we're gonna use the um, juice from the mandarin oranges to make our dressing. So then obviously if you have more salad, you're gonna need more um, juice. So this really depends on you know adding and subtracting. And then we also have a good quality um, uh, pure sesame oil. You don't need very much because it's very pungent. Um, and then I've got blueberries, fresh blueberries and fresh strawberries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open my can and I washed my can before I'm opening so I'm not having any extra ingredients in there because we don't know where the can has stayed. So I always like to wash my cans before I open them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour in our juice. And obviously I'm also going to use the mandarins from there, but we're going to use it later. So to this now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Now, um, sesame oil really depends on your flavor. If you're not very used to the pungent smell, I would say start off slowly. And always, always, always do a taste test with your dressing. Okay, to this, I'm going to go ahead and add about two tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, and when we're gonna be doing, I just made such a big mess here, just give me a second here. Um, when, you're, um, when you're mixing all this stuff, you really have to try it and um, figure out what you like. Do you like it more sweeter? Do you like it more, you know, um, having a tart flavor? So I'll put the, the Recipe on the screen is what how I like it, but just make sure that you adjust it to your taste. Okay, to this, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And the hole is really small, so I really am not putting as much. Now the reason we don't have sugar in there because of the uh, juice and that's why I love making this salad. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my poppy seeds and again I like a lot of poppy seeds I added about three tablespoons of it in there now I'm gonna do, be doing a quick taste test just to see that it's um, how our flavors are <clears throat> so good so I really would not be making any, any changes to it. All right, now to this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our salads, salad in there. And obviously this spoon is not, this uh, whisk is not gonna work. So let's go ahead and give this a good mix. And this is my daughter's favorite, favorite salad. I mean, she just absolutely loves this salad. So. And the nice thing about it is also that you can change around the um, vegetables, the fruits. You can even add, if pomegranates are in season, you can even add pomegranates in there. In there. Or I've also tried it with um, pears, like those really nice um, pears. So, and at this point, I kind of want the salad to um, soak in all the marinade and really get nice and happy in there. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more because it's just, it's going to cover my bowl. I want it to be really nice and covered up in the bowl. Okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add our blueberries, our blueberries in there. I'm gonna reserve some just for garnishing. Again, add strawberries and maybe just keep a couple for garnishing. And then I'm gonna reserve some mandarins too. Add the rest in there. And look at, just look at the colors. It's just so beautiful. get something like this so I can mix it really well. Actually I had more strawberries but my eight-year-old came home and they were cut and she decided that she wanted strawberries she, so she finished most of my strawberries in here but I still got some in there it's gonna add some good color in there. Okay and that's it we're done with making the salad. So at this point now is the fun part, it's just to put it in and garnish it. And the marinade that's gonna be on the bottom, I'm also gonna pour in there. So, so the leaves are really gonna soak everything in and it's gonna get really nicely marinated. a nice presentation here all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some of the mandarins right in the middle like so I'm gonna throw some blueberries on top I like to have the uh, mandarins in the corner like that I 
and that's it. That's our five minute salad. This is a beautiful salad because again, change it off with different, different fruits to give it a completely different um, look to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my um, mandarin and strawberry poppy seed salad. If you guys have any questions, please send me an email at rehanascuisines at gmail.com. Follow me on um, Facebook or just send me a comment right here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope to see you here next time with another great episode. Friends, if you love this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Till then, see you later.